Welcome back. Gardner Minshew is starting his second season in the NFL much differently than the first go around. This time last year, he seemed firmly cemented to be Nick Foles' backup. Now, Foles is gone, and Minshew is the man in charge. The former WSU quarterback spoke to the media today for the first time since the end of the season. I believe that I'm going to give us the best chance to win, no matter what. I just got to prove that every day, and uh, I'm excited for the opportunity to be able to prove that. This offseason, the Jags put all their chips in, and they put them in on Gardner Minshew. But that hasn't made anything different in the Mississippi native's mind. It didn't change anything that I do. Uh, I'm still going to work the same way, still going to lead the same way. Um, you know, I had conversations with Dave Caldwell. I told him, you do, you know, do what you think is best for this team. There was some controversy this offseason with Minshew caused by a fellow Jags teammate in the backfield. Leonard Fournette said in a since-deleted Instagram post that he wanted free agent quarterback Cam Newton to join the team. When asked if the hype he's received in this offseason feels validating or pressures him more, Gardner said the only opinions that matter are those of his teammates. What I care about is like when, you know, guys on our team, you know, come and tell me that they're behind me, they believe in me. When I feel like I've earned the respect of those guys, that's what uh, the opinions I really care about. And uh, I think as long as I have that, we're going to build this thing together. And uh, I think it's going to be very exciting. As for if he feels like he's earned the respect of his teammates? Yeah, I think we're definitely getting there. Minshew, Fournette, and the whole offensive unit are learning a new offense this year under first-year coordinator Jay Gruden. Minshew feels he's particularly prepared to learn a new offense remotely, in part due to his time before he came to Pullman. When I was at Washington State, this was kind of a similar thing because I wasn't there for the spring, so I had to do a lot of it on my own as well. The more that you have to do it, which I learned, I think it was five offenses in four years in college, which I didn't even make sense, but that's the truth. <laughs> um, but I think just learning how you learn best, um, I think that experience helped me as I move into you know, more complicated NFL offenses. Unfortunately, though, Minshew and his offense are not exactly touted among the league's best coming into this season. Naturally, Gardner is using that as motivation. I think it should put a chip on everybody's shoulder on our team, you know, being kind of counted out like that. Um, you know, I think we do have a lot to prove. Um, you know, prove that, you know, we're not what anybody says about us. The only people that really, you know, only people whose opinions matter is who's in that huddle, who's on that team. Um, and I think we're going to set those expectations for ourselves um, and not worry about, you know, what anybody else has to say about us. Something that always has high expectations is Minshew's hair situation. As you can see during that interview, he's ditched the stash and he's rocking the full quarantine beard. He did say, though, that he's home right now and his mom made him cut his hair because apparently he hadn't cut it in about a year. That clip is on my Twitter. That's it for sports.